Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Yes, so, um, as far as I know, I don't think I need to make any changes to this big space station launch piece, but yeah, it, it's looking amazing. I did add a few little things to it, um, I did change it a little bit. I, I just strictly changed it after the episode. It wasn't like I launched it and I was like, oh yeah, well I should add this and this and this. Um, I did add another battery to it, which is right here. So now we're going to have 20,000 power just on this one main strut piece. I know it's a little OD, but hey, I, I like that. Oh, wow. We should slow down a little bit. What am I doing? Uh, break those off here. Um, bring this up a little bit. Perfect. Um, wow, it is just insanely dark, so I should turn on the lights, right? Yeah, I wanted to, th this is like a last minute kind of ad thing, and I know how I always say that you really don't need lights and all that other stuff, and I really still stick with that. I, I you don't need lights on this stuff, um, not that big of a deal. But I did this for aesthetics. I think it looks amazing like this, especially when it gets on the dark side, it will probably look more amazing. So speed up there we go um now because it's so dark i did add a just a asas wheel um right here and so we're gonna have two one here one here and one here and that's gonna be for stabilization um hopefully i i you know i'm really hoping that the asas itself um, is a lot different than the old one. I mean, I do know that it is a lot different, but I really don't know um, how it fares with very large structures. That's one of the major things that, like, I'm basically clueless about, and I'm so used to turning it off. My god. Uh, but yeah, I just don't know how it's going to fare with a structure like this I, I really don't know what we're gonna get out of it so I didn't add any kind of uh, power source to this thing either so we're gonna have to really keep our fingers crossed that 20,000 battery will last us all the way I, I, I'm pretty sure I mean if, if we run out of battery I think I'm just gonna break everything so yeah, but this thing overall is just looking amazing. I mean, I'm uh, a little skeptical with the amount of struts I added, but, um, you know, I, I'm really hoping that it really doesn't cause any problems. At least, not too many problems. And it is veering a little bit, which I'm a little concerned about, so, the, the rocket itself. So, alright, bring this... I'll just throttle down a little bit, see what we got for an orbit... I want to put this at 150 orbit. I think that should be more than enough. So, this thing I think is at a 300. Yep, yeah, 300. So, alright, this is looking pretty good. This is actually really good. So, bring this up just a little bit more. We're at two. Yeah, yeah. We're going to have to do another burn right here. Slow it down. Turn on that RCS. We don't have any RCS stores on this thing or anything like that, so it really, you know, it's not that big of a deal. Bring it down, start a burn. And now I'm going to line this up with the moon again, like I did with the moon, uh, or I mean, not the moon fuel depot, with the uh, Kerbin fuel depot. So that, that's going to be lined up with the, the best of them, I, I guess. And you can see, um, I did go through and I worked on our satellite grid. Now you can see I did line these up the best I possibly could. Um, you know, they're pretty darn lined up. Uh, and this is all manually too. This isn't with mech jab or anything like that. Um, what is that? Uh, okay, I was just looking. Um, <laughs> no, I'm so used to not seeing these things, so... But no, I, I didn't use MechJab, I didn't use any of that kind of stuff, uh, just did it all by basically eye and flight and everything else, and I have to say, it looks pretty freaking awesome. So, it, you know, let me know what you think about it, uh, I'll bring this up to 150, like I was saying before, before I got distracted by my ultra sexy satellite network. 
I was thinking about launching more and launching the almost the exact same mission, but getting one in between here and between here, you know, you can see and then have like basically a huge network surrounding the entire globe. But this time what I would do is I would launch them going in opposite directions from from here um, and just having them orbit the opposite way. So I, I don't know how that would work. I think it would look pretty awesome, but that's just me. So whatever. So this is up to 150 and we need to flip over on the other side and do the appropriate burn. Um, I'm thinking maybe we could just get rid of this whole stage here. Uh, it is a little bit of a waste of fuel, but I'm not that concerned. Let's see, is this thing staged correctly? No, it is not. I'll turn this off here for a second, bring this up, and this is the one that we don't want decoupling. So, alright. Yeah, I always get skeptical with this, because with the staging sometimes, when you're in orbit, sometimes it still doesn't work right after you change it, so I, I've had that problem a couple times. So, let's get rid of this thing. I think it'll be a little bit more maneuverable. Um, let's just cross our fingers. Um, okay. There we go. Perfect. Um, alright, let's see. Bring this over. We need to get on this side and the satellites just look awesome but all right let's see what we got all right everything's kind of separated out that's pretty nice i do say and this strut is just absolutely awesome looking i wonder if we're gonna like hit this piece here that'd be awesome it'd be like we're freaking batting it away are we gonna hit it are we? No, oh, that sucks. It's funny because they try to avoid doing these things in, in you know, our, the real space program. I was like, eh, let's smash stuff. You know, deorbiting the station was amazing. I do have to say too, I, for those of you who watched it, absolutely awesome. I, I was just like laughing the whole time I was doing that. I, I, I really couldn't record what I was saying while I was doing it because uh, some of the stuff was not uh, exactly PG, um, you know, appropriate for my channel, I guess. So, but it was, yeah, I had a lot of fun. I think we're going to have to do a burn down a little bit here, and that will, I think that will pull our node back a little bit. Yeah, that, that's working perfect. So, oh yeah, I forgot. Wow, I, I think I should have done that first. We need to line this up with the moon. Um, it's off a little bit. So, I want this thing to be perfect. Let's bring it up a little. Stop it. It's too sensitive. Why you gotta be so sensitive? Now, let's see. I think it's gonna be up here. Probably not. Yeah, okay, it is. Perfect. Now we gotta just line up for this burn, and then I'll eventually undock this thing, or you know, you know, detach it. I hope you guys are liking this. I mean, I'm really trying this time to be a lot more. Uh, you know, I'm trying to really make it look nice, the orbits and everything else, because a lot of my stuff just, I, you know, I would launch it and I'd get it into the close I, closest I could possibly get it to, and then I was like, eh, whatever, screw it, not a big deal. So, this time, I'm going to try to do it a lot differently. So, let, let's, I think our burn's coming up here. Just close this, and then we're going to watch our node. Perfect. Now, I haven't got any NAN, uh, I have not seen NAN while you're um, trying to, you know, fix your orbits and stuff like that. Uh, I've not seen it yet, so I maybe it got removed from the game or something, I, I don't know. Uh, that's the one thing that usually I always see it every now and again, I'll get NAN, but I haven't seen it, don't know what happened to it, I think it's gone.
That that's it's the best way I can put it. Now let's see. Uh, my God, this thing is gonna look awesome. Now I'm really hoping on frame rate as well. They, I know the frame rate is gonna eventually start getting. It's gonna start taking a poo, and it's not gonna look that good after a while. But you know, I'm really hoping that the frame rate kind of holds out. I'm gonna use the reaction wheels as well to control this thing because we have so much control now. So it really shouldn't matter so much just swing this over and uh, I think we'll be good with this right about meow I'm about to pass my note as it is so come on bring it bring it lined it up there we go 136 150 we don't have much of a burn left it's it's all gonna be basically RCS after a certain point so this is lined up the best I can get it I'll turn on RCS as it is right now might as well bring this up as best as I can alright now it's starting to move use the RCS so this is 150 See, I don't like that this is at almost basically 151. I'll bring that up to 150. That's good enough. See, it'd be nice to do it at 240, but that way I could get a faster time warp, but it's not that big of a deal. So, Oh, God, I just passed it. Uh, See what happens when I talk to you guys? Like, I, I just don't pay attention and bad things happen. But overall, this is, I think, about three days into our mission so far. Well, I mean, three days into our our program. And this is all we've accomplished in three days. So we get a basic platform launched for our space station. And, yeah, that just shifted. If I do this, a little bit of this. And, uh... What will change it? Alright, this is gonna bring it over. Alright, yeah, that will bring it down a little bit. So, SAS. Please don't fail me now. Alright, it's looking pretty good. It, it's looking pretty good. 282 now these have to be some of the best orbits I've gotten so far in this game because usually I don't care so much about this kind of stuff and this is what happens when you get a really perfect orbit at least for me and 101 and that's at 95 so that that's basically the best we're going to get I'm going to not use the react or I'm going to use the reaction wheels that way we're not putting any thrust or anything on our orbit and change and end up changing it so that won't be a good thing. I'm trying to line this up with like a the descending or ascending node so I can detach this piece here. So get rid of all of this and this will be our basic space station for now. It's going to die in orbit, obviously, eventually. I mean, if you look at the battery right now, it's getting sucked dry. But, you know, in this entire launch, we've only used 1,000 power. So, I mean, by the time I launch the second piece, I think we'll be all right. And there's, there's really no way to say that it, it's going to die, but whatever. So, let's get rid of this piece here. Now, this may have thrown off something. It is just what the heck is going on. That's what happens when you get a perfect orbit, guys. That's just what happens when you, it, when it's almost near perfect. It, it, no, just doesn't like it. All right, so uh, what was I? Oh, yeah. So this is going to be the Kerbal Space Station.
there we go and uh, yep it's all marked as a station everything else is good perfect so it looks like the reaction wheels are doing something but it looks a little jittery or something I, I don't know what's going on here I'm trying to turn it right now, and um, I don't know what it's doing, so it looks like it's good, though, I think. These reaction wheels, I really hope, are going to, you know, really take control and really keep this thing absolutely stable. And we get to watch the sunrise as well. Amazing. So there we have it. There's our first piece of the Kerbal Space Station. Uh, there will be my next launch for this. I do think is going to be putting a, uh, whatchamacallit, a another piece here and another piece here. I think they're, they're going to be separate launches though because I don't think I can launch a piece that big. So it, I really don't think that can happen. But you know what? I'll try it whatever if, if the rocket explodes it explodes that that's the best way I can you know put it but anyways guys uh, thank you for watching if you like what you see here subscribe to all you new people welcome and uh, yeah I will see you next time